what up it's thoughts with gracie on youtube um so tonight is emmy's night and one of my little sparrows filled me in on the newest episode of jeff Wittick's podcast that just came out and the message read brooke talked about you on the latest episode of jeff fm okay so then i go and look at what she's talking about so here is the video i'll play you the clip let's roll it um i can't hear it while it's playing so we'll because of the software i'm using so we will discuss after girl really no but stuff. i did it there's that girl i hate to even give her the time of day but that thoughts with gracie girl i don't know if you know who that is no does she talk she shit on horrible me? yes for sure uh, she just makes these horrible like has horrible takes and she so makes bad, these like they're super viral because people hate her so much but i What's sent thoughts with gracie on tiktok i blocked her on everything hold on this is fucked up i'm reading yours let me read mine i sent it all to her mom there's and probably grandma. some bad shit oh, on you me. found her mother 100 <laughs> percent. and i said your daughter is a hateful woman what is this ethan jeff you're missing this no that's i think you heard me sorry what'd you say nothing i know i was just I, I, I realized that um there was some shit being talked about me on reddit and it completely are, consumed my all my saying? attention no, I, I did it as a joke. I'm like, I'm a tough guy. I could come over here and look at my own. And then I completely forgot I was hosting a show with you and you were talking to me and I feel rude that I was looking at this. No, but it's oh, okay. Oh, you a TikTok with her. She made a TikTok and she was like, Brooke, if anyone wanted to hear your opinion, you would still be on Tana Mojo's podcast. And then the next week we announced that the podcast was coming back and we suck it crazy. Oh, burn there. That was nice. That's That's got to feel good. Success is the best revenge. And that's what motivates me. You know, she starts it off with, she hates to give me the, like, airtime or whatever, but I must live rent-free in this bitch's head because that whole me telling her her opinion didn't matter happened, like, nine months ago, and it happened, like, three months before their podcast happened. Let's, let's continue. My favorite thing is the narrative that she has tried to set with my like content just because she doesn't like my content she's created this narrative and she's said it twice like she's trying to um you know how when Slade was like you're a bully you're a bully you're a bully well you scream into the echo enough people will start to copy monkey see monkey do if that makes sense so the narrative that she's trying to set of saying that people only engage with my content because they hate it that might be her perception but she's pushing that perception onto the whole of my audience which is far from the truth right um i think the fact that i said no one cares about her opinion must have really hurt her okay one my my grandma and mom don't have social media so like she's lying through her teeth like they they don't they just don't like my mom hadn't had facebook for years now do they watch my content 100 percent. they watch my tiktoks just because like they have the link and they go look at the updated videos, you know? But I think the reason she's so obsessed with, like, mothers and maternal figures and going to tell on people about their moms is her mom's a crackhead who works at IHOP, who won't get help. And I think, like, that has that has something to do with it on why she feels the need. She needs to call other people's mommies. And it's like, what are you, a 13-year-old? Like, you're talking about pick-me's before... And you're trying to explain to these guys what pick me's are. And then you're trying to use, then you, you then you turn around and be a pick me by trying to show them you have street cred by pulling something out of the 13 year old's book and being like, I told their mother they were a bad person. Like, do you not think my mom knows what I'm doing on here? And the fact that like it's Emmy's night and they posted about me, like out of all the content, in the world they could have posted about on Emmy's night. They they posted about me. About, like, Jeff Wittick. The fall from grace it has to be to have one of the, like, David Dobrik vlog squad talking about me on Emmy's night. That's just, because, like, who the fuck am I? I got 20,000 followers on TikTok, you know? Like, my, my 100,000 count is gone. But did you ever think, that I, the thoughts with Gracie, hashtag, hashtag thoughts with Gracie, would be shouted out, even in a hater way, on one of the little David Dobrik vlog podcast uh, people's pages. Never. Never in a million years. Um, but yeah, 
that's really all I have to say about it. Like, I don't know. street cred, but like thirteen year old street cred when she's saying she's not a pick me. Um, but like it's very pick me behavior. And then um, the mom thing. She's got an obsession with other people's moms because her mom's a crackhead that works at IHOP. The truth. The truth. The truth. Um, um, you want to know why she originally didn't like me? Let me tell this story. She originally didn't like me because me and Teffy got into like a little TikTok spat where I didn't think that Alabama was safe LARPing college life. Like LARPing, not LARPing college life. LARPing club life as a 16 year old dressed provocatively in front of grown men like I didn't think that was a safe area like a safe environment for a child to be and all Teffy saw was oh you're telling a young woman how to dress da 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 and then she went on her and Tana's podcast the the first time that she um spoke about me and she was like well you know if if Teffy doesn't like her then I don't like her and that's just such a sheep mentality because Teffy was coming from like this left feminist woke thing and I was coming from like oh my goodness this child doesn't need to be wearing like scandalous this is a dangerous environment she's holding Casamigos but like look at her now like I rest my case I was like what I was right she was put in a dangerous situation and now she's like attracted to that type of environment and it's it's whatever that's all I got yep it's a sad day when you're talking about me on Emmy's night peace make sure you follow Follow, that would be nice. Peace out.